we were talking about the Cobb-Douglas production function. And a Cobb-Douglas production function shows you how much output you can get for different combinations of uh, two inputs, say capital and labor. And suppose our Cobb-Douglas production function is just this. Q equals K to the 0.5 power times L to the 0.5. And uh, suppose we want to evaluate the Marshall product of labor when K is equal to 64 and L is equal to 100. How would we uh, do that? Let K be equal to 64. Let L be equal to 100. For these values of K and L, evaluate the Marshall product of labor. Okay. Find the Marshall product of labor. What is the Marshall product of labor? Mathematically, what is the Marshall product of labor? Ben? Partial? Partial what? Of what? No, not the partial derivative of labor, but the partial derivative of... Whenever you're talking about a partial derivative, it's a partial derivative of the dependent variable with respect to the independent variable. So say it again, Ben, it's the... Yes, it's partial Q, partial L. Yes. The marginal product of labor is just partial Q, partial L. And what this tells you is the rate of change of output per unit change in labor for given values of uh, K and L. And what is, if we were to take partial Q, partial L, what is it? What is partial Q, partial L? Okay, Ben? Okay. Bring this one half or 0.5 down. So it's 0.5 times K to the 0.5 times Oh, okay. Or, you know, actually, let's do it a slightly different way. What do you do? You're doing two steps in one. What do you do to this exponent right here when you differentiate with respect to L? So it becomes L to the minus 0.5. And which we could write, you're absolutely right, Ben, we could write this as 0.5 times K to the 0.5 divided by L to the 0.5. Because L to the minus 0.5 power is just 1 over L to the 0.5. And actually, we could simplify this a little bit more. Notice K and L have the same exponent. So we could just write this as 0.5 times K over L raised to the 0.5. And raising K over L to the 0.5 is the same thing as doing what? Square root. Okay. So it's uh, 0.5 times the square root of k over l. Now, if you want to evaluate the Marshall product of labor at this value of k and l, you just plug those values in. And in this case, it might be easier to look at this formulation right here. What is the square root of 64? Eight. So it's just 0. 0.5 times 8, square root of 64. What is the square root of uh, 100? Oh, have I got this right? Yeah, yeah, what's the square root of 100? 10, okay. So it's uh, 4 over 10, or 0.4. So the marginal product of labor uh, is just 0.4. So what this means is approximately, if you're currently using 64 units of capital, 100 units of labor, if you use one more unit of labor, your output will increase by 0.4.
0.4 units. I say approximately because the partial derivative is really the limit of the difference quotient, delta Q over delta L as delta L goes to zero. So a one unit change in labor is not the same as an infinitesimally small change, but it'll be approximately 